Hello guys, uh, how are we doing? My today's session is about customizing our blog. I will try to make the session as simple as possible for you. So I request you to please take these sessions very seriously about establishing your presence online because this is the base that we are trying to set. This is your trampoline from where you will jump and reach out to heights. So if you're not able to create this, then it will be very difficult for you to follow my sessions in the future. So let's get started. Uh, if you remember, last time we had created this blog called SimranPartney.com and uh, we are trying to now customize this blog for which you have to log in with your uh, WordPress admin ID and password. You have to go to your domain.com slash vp underscore slash admin, iPhone admin, type down your username as well as password. So you will see this dashboard and now we will work towards customizing. So first thing that we'll try to do is register our blog title by going to the general settings. You have to click on this, the settings that you see on the left side, click on general, give your blog a title. The blog title here is food travel and leisure blog of India. And the tagline for this is, you have to go further and save these following changes. Now look at writing. If you have created a category, you can choose a default category out there so that whenever you make a post, you can save it in that particular category. So as of now, you have not made any category, so you don't have to pick anything. You can skip this. Move on to the reading. Now reading is about what you want to show on the home page. So for example, if you go on sortofjane.com, you are more likely to see so many post out there. So I have picked up close to about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 posts on display. So it's your choice. How many posts you want to see? You want to see 10 or you want to see 5? You want to see 6? It's your choice. So I, I pick up 5 and I keep 5 when people click on load more. So they get to see 5 at an instance and click on it's your choice if you want to show the full blog post on the home page, or you can show summary like this. So if you see these blogs, it has title and the summary, title and the summary. So you can also pick up this option because that's the best one. Our next objective is to figure out what permalink we would want to have. So permalink is basically nothing but the URL of your blog. Now, when you click on this particular story, you're more likely to see this as your permalink. It makes a lot more sense for you to have this more customized than having numbers or hashtags or question marks here because that is not being SEO friendly. So please have, so please have post name after you click on permalink, choose post name. Post name is where the title of the blog gets customized for the URL. You can even edit this before you publish the blog. So save changes. You have to go to the next option, which is about widget customization. So widget is about the right hand side of the blog that you see here. So menu is this that you see in the bar on the top and widgets are the right hand side customization. So now what all widgets would you want to have? That's your choice. So you can choose a search bar. You can have recent posts. You can have recent comments. I'm removing recent comments. I'm having archives, categories. If I require, I can also have customized menu out here on the right hand side of my choice if required. If not, you can just let it go. The next important thing is adding of categories. Categories is when, in which you actually start blogging. So it's important that you pick up the categories that is very important for your business. For example, let's say Simran wants to write about travel. So it's travel diary or travel in India, more with keywords. I'll add other 
category out here travel in chennai because simran is from chennai she might she might want to because simran is because simran is from chennai she might want to travel in the city once you're done with this proceed click on appearance go for themes so there are various kinds of themes available guys free themes and paid themes it's your choice which one you want to pick up you have to go add a new theme so there are two kind of themes one, uh, one is paid theme and other is uh, uh, free theme so you can pick up anything of your choice i would suggest you to go with the uh, free theme dazzling is an interesting one so search for dazzling and uh, install dazzling on your blog so now dazzling is already added as it added as a theme you can, look, you can now see how the blog looks so this is the new blog of simran patni we are now trying to customize this further so what else is very important the few of the most important things in wordpress is the plugins you should definitely learn how to install plugin so we will now install some of the important plugins out there you have to install akismet plugin this akismet plugin is already installed by default akismet is very very important plugin out there because akismet makes sure that uh, uh, all the spams uh, all the spam comments gets filtered so it's it's very important that you have uh, this akismet plugin in your wordpress blog the second important plugin is SEO ultimate This SEO ultimate plugin will make your SEO process much much easier so definitely install SEO ultimate I will teach you how to use SEO ultimate in the next sessions when we are trying to do SEO or we are trying to learn SEO so go on SEO ultimate click on activate plugin some of the some of the other important plugins are login attempt so search for login attempt this should, this is to keep the hackers at the bay if somebody is trying to log into your account again again the account gets locked so they can't access to it now how do we add menu on your blog So if you want to have an extended menu you have to go on to pages click on add new pages I repeat you have to go to pages click on add new pages and then type down the page you want so let's say if you have about us you can fill in your details about you and uh, publish this out there you want to have another page which talks about contact us detail of yours so click on add new write down contact us click on publish if you are an author and you have written a book you can add add new and write down books if you are having something to sell write down buy my products click on publish what we will do right now we will try to take these four pages and try to add it out here in the menu for which you have to go down to appearance click on menus click on buy my products books contact us about us add it to the existing menu so you have to save it now that you have saved it you are more likely to see your customized blog already the blog title is here these are your menus this is the right hand side bar 
of the block. So in nutshell, what did we do? Let's repeat. All we did was we went down to settings. We clicked on general settings. We had the title name of the blog, tagline of the blog. We saved it. We clicked on reading. We picked up what, how many posts that we want to show on the timeline on the first page of the home, sorry. We then went on reading. We picked up how many posts that we want to show on the home page. We picked up that we want to only show the summary and not the full blog post on the home page. If you also want the search engine to not to index your site, you can choose this option. If not, you can save changes. The difference between choosing this box and not choosing this box is this, that if you choose this box or tick this box up, then your website will not be visible on search engine. So Google will not come and crawl your website and the content will not be visible on search engines out there. So after we did that, we went on to plugins. We added few plugins. We went to appearance. We added widgets. We went to pages, added few pages. And uh, we concluded this entire session by adding uh, the pages to the menu so that it becomes a complete 360 degree block for you where you have your pages, then you have your blog post, then you have right hand side bar and then you have the title as well. So with this, I will end up my session. At the end, we just need to add one important parameter, which is Gravator. So you have to go create an account for Gravator. Gravator will help you create a customized author profile. So having a profile on Gravator is very, very important. Sorry, you have to use the email ID through which you log into your uh, WordPress account. You have to activate this account. Once you activate this account, you can sign into Gravator with the email ID and password. So you can add your profile image that you want to display to public. Go on my profile, add on your first name and the last name. You can have a little bit of detail about you, just the bio. So your Gravator profile is now saved. So whenever you are going to publish a blog post on your WordPress, you're more likely to see this authorship at the bottom of your blog. So with this, I will end up my session. I'll repeat, we customized our blog, we added widgets, we had set up a free theme called Dazzling and uh, we had uh, tried uh, integrating some plugins that can make our job much, much easier. I hope uh, you will be in a position to do this all by yourself. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me. We will uh, uh, see you soon again uh, with the next set of videos, which is going to about uh, search engine optimization, Google Analytics and a lot more. Thank you so much. Good day to you.